<laughs> Don't just stand there like an idiot. Give me what you've got in Scram. Are you drunk or something? What's going on, guys? All right, first piece of news. So if you go on the Stalker 2 Discord and you go under the announcements page, if you scroll down towards the bottom, there's an image that they uploaded recently that shows a light bulb dangling in front of a hanging light. And if you right-click on that image and save, it actually has the file name Back to the Future. If you look at the image behind the depth of field, it kind of looks like you're down in Sid's bunker. So might be a teaser from GSC. We'll have to wait and see. But I thought it was something interesting that I'd point out for you guys. Second piece of news, which I'm sure many of you have already heard, Stalker 2 is confirmed to be running on Unreal Engine 5. We were all kind of hoping in the back of our minds that that would be the case. So in the screenshot, it's actually taken from inside the game's um, editor. If you were to bet, it looks like Yontar. It looks like the tunnel where you take the scientist through to do some readings. I went back into Shadow of Chernobyl and took a look around there, and you, you do have the tunnel and you do have the fallen tree with the branches. It, Things are just moved around a little bit differently, so it doesn't perfectly line up, but hey, they could just be changing up the zone a little bit in the sequel. So if you're wondering what the hell's going on, basically the Stalker 2 official Discord um, had gotten hacked recently. One of the main GSC staff members, Tariq, uh, was the victim of a phishing attack where he you know, clicked on something that was masqueraded to look legitimate and a group known as Unifish was able to use that to get access to the Discord and start spamming all kinds of crazy nonsense in all the channels and it basically became a game of catch up at that point with trying to lock the channels down and get the permissions and role situation resolved so it was kind of a mess uh the funny part was in the chat where people were spamming oh monolith we do not hear you where have you gone <laughs> but there was like a lot of other nonsense that was posted in there that you could have done without overall the thing didn't really last long yeah, so basically, um, I had some screenshots that were sent to me that showed some of the people from Unifish that were purchasing and leaving reviews for the phishing tools that they used to, to basically trick Tariq into getting the, the Stalker 2 Discord. And then someone had posted some screenshots basically to the extent of, you fucked up, checkmate, we got your account. But of course, that was never going to last, but they were basically just trying to taunt at that point. So... Obviously, the Discord is completely back to normal. It's nothing to worry about now. It was just kind of like a funny, weird thing to wake up to in the morning. And hopefully, none of, none of you guys that were active clicked on anything in the Discord and left yourself open to any vulnerabilities. It looks like the group was trying to run like a Bitcoin scam of some kind, where basically anyone who was going to the Stalker Discord was getting funneled to their page to leave a donation. So the whole thing was just kind of ridiculous. But here we are. But yeah, on a more positive note, we would love to congratulate GSC on reaching 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. So they put an awesome little um, video up on their Instagram feed, just kind of, you know, showing the team, shaking hands, congratulating each other on a job well done. If you look at that YouTube uh, play button plaque that they have, 
you can see where you rotate it in a certain light. You can see the Stalker Heart of Chernobyl logo inside, and that just looks freaking awesome. So I'm super happy for those guys. They deserve every single bit of success that they get with this franchise and the hard work that they put in. It honestly can't be understated. GSC, you guys are you guys are fucking amazing. You're absolutely number one. So awesome. Good job. You guys are killing it. Speaking of all the success that GSC has been having, they are actually hiring. So they posted a screenshot showing all of the number of positions that they have available. I think the only stipulation is that you'll have to move to the Ukraine to be able to uh, work for GSC in any of those positions. And I imagine that your Ukrainian, Ukrainian will have to be pretty fluent as well. So good luck to you guys that are trying. I would love to go myself, but I don't think that I have enough of the talent that GSC requires. But if I do... Well, that's about all the news that I've got for you stalkers this month, with the exception that we have Gamescom coming up this Tuesday on the 24th. It's going to be, I believe, 11 o'clock uh, Pacific time. Might want to double check that. But they are going to have an Xbox panel, and they're going to be showing all of the Xbox licensed games, so or first-party games, you know what I mean. And Stalker 2 is definitely going to be among them, just kind of the way we figured it would be with E3. And wouldn't you know, they ended up opening up E3 with Stalker 2. So hopefully they do the same thing for Gamescom, because we're chopping at the bit to get any more pieces of gameplay that we can see, especially before the year ends. I need more hype. There's never enough. Also, where the fuck are the Ultimate Editions? I'm still waiting. Hole in my wallet, GSC. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my god. Stop fucking lying.